Good evening. Thank you for attending 2020's Back to School Night. Obviously, this is a little unusual for everyone, but what I'm going to be doing for you is going through the US 2 course syllabus so that you understand what is expected of your child in this class this year as they take the last required history course for graduation. Momentarily, I'm going to share with you the back to school presentation via PowerPoint. You can follow along and there's a lot of information in there that you can find help, uh, helpful to maintaining good communication with me throughout the school year, especially while we are virtual and even after when we return to school following the hybrid schedule. Please pay attention to the uh, presentation as it will last roughly between five to seven minutes. And again, a lot of information in there helping you understand what is expected of your child in US2 this year for a moment. Okay, up on your screen uh, should be the back to school night presentation. One of the most important pieces of information you can find on this schedule is not only my name, Mr. Michael DeLuca, but also my contact email through the school. Uh, it is preferred that email is the primary mode of communication. Uh, if you need anything throughout the school year, you can shoot me an email and I will usually get back to you within 24 hours. I do check it often throughout the day and even on the weekends. So again, any concerns, anything comes up as unusual, uh, things you'd like to discuss regarding your child, please shoot me an email. And as I mentioned, I'll get back to you within 24 hours. A little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a resident of South Plainfield, uh, born and raised, graduated South Plainfield High School in 1999. Then I went on to attend Kane University where I got my degree in uh, education with a specialization in history. This is the beginning of my 14th year at Dinellen, starting in 2007, and I look forward to a, a successful year with you. These are my two children, Benjamin and Sophia. Benny is 11 years old. Sophia will be turning 10 in a few days. Uh, they too are going through virtual schooling this year, and uh, they have their moments of successes as well as some uh, panic modes. But nonetheless, everyone's getting through it the best they can. Uh, this year in US 2, uh, you can expect to uh, talk to your child about any type of content uh, from post-Civil War history, roughly 1865, all the way up to the present day. So as you can tell uh, by numbers, it is a very large uh, class in scope, but we do uh, move pretty quickly in the beginning and then try to get uh, as far and close to present day as possible. So that'll be my objective to get through. A couple rules while we uh, address virtual learning. Uh, here are six uh, simple rules that students were um, discussed with and uh, made mention of in the beginning of the school year this year. Uh, some of the rules that they are to follow uh, when logging on virtually to attend class. Uh, you can read through those. One of the most important things is making sure that they are on and stay on through the duration of the class period. Uh, other ones that are worth noting, uh, expected to attend uh, their activity while on Chromebooks in my class will be monitored by a program we use at the high school called Go Guardian. That will allow me to make sure that your students are on task, uh, completing the activities assigned each day. Uh, and the other big one is regarding internet issues. Uh, we would be foolish to assume that there are not going to be any problems with any type of virtual learning and technology. However, it was made clear to the students that if they come across any type of issues, regarding internet connectivity, that it is best to email the teacher or contact the teacher through Google Classroom so that it can at least be noted while taking attendance. Student assessments, uh, while we are virtually learning, some of these assessments will not necessarily apply to what students will be doing. However, when we return, uh, the things like section quizzes and chapter tests will resume as normal. But for the most part, uh, everything we do is going to be online, uh, whether it be a classroom lecture, uh, classroom activities regarding discussion topic questions, map activities, any of the sort will be posted online and accessible to the students via the Google platform. Uh, homework will be limited this year, uh, roughly to one or two times per week. Uh, so students can expect to see maybe one 
uh, or two assignments, roughly uh, dealing with perhaps section work, maybe some reading, maybe some vocabulary, possibly some review questions to answer. And students will be given a multitude of days, maybe one to two, possibly three days, depending on the scope of the project or activity for them to complete that. So again, they can expect roughly one to two homework assignments per week. The other big change this year is going to be in lieu of tests, students can expect to be assigned projects that will be much larger in scope, uh, as well as higher in point value. Things like creation of PowerPoints, uh, perhaps attending web quests and or virtual tours, or simply writing essays uh, to larger type of questions. Um, otherwise, classwork and homework, uh, along with these projects, will be the brunt of their grading system. And expectations uh, are very simple, and I would assume most are in line with what other teachers are requiring of the students. But again, preparation is the key. Uh, students should be prepared each day with a charged Chromebook. Uh, they should be ready and willing to participate in any type of activities or discussions. Uh, they should be uh, and, and are encouraged to ask questions uh, regarding some of the content. I know it's going to be a little difficult in the beginning, but it is important that they maintain good communication with me so that everything can be taken care of in a timely fashion. Uh, respect to the school, to the teacher, to the other students in the class is a must as well. And again, it is understood that your students are accountable for all their actions, both in and out of the classroom uh, and all of their work as well. Uh, I have yet to set up uh, office hours, but it's likely going to be somewhere between the hours of 8.30 uh, to 9 a.m. daily. Uh, I will establish a opportunity for students prior to the start of their school day where they can shoot me an email or contact me regarding any type of issues that they might, might, they might be having, especially if they're having uh, any issues with comprehension. That would be a good time for us to get uh, together and discuss some of what they're uh, dealing with. So again, I will post and update them on that when it is established, but again, it will be in the early morning prior to school hours. Grading, uh, the grading policy is rather simple. It's based on a cumulative uh, policy. Students will be assigned homework, uh, classwork activities, and even large projects that will range from anywhere from uh, as little as 10 points in an assignment to upwards of 150 to 200, uh, given the design of the project. So again, everything is weighted equally based on its points. Uh, and usually at the end of each marking period, Students can expect somewhere around 1,000 grade points assigned. And again, their accountability is going to come into play here. Uh, if they do their work and they accumulate enough points, they should see favorable grades uh, and hopefully uh, building a nice foundation for a successful school year. That will conclude the presentation. Again, if you need anything from me at any moment, please do not hesitate to email me. Uh, the email again, I will mention it Deluca M at DonellanSchools.org. And again, I check those uh, emails daily and even on the weekends. So again, I wish you the best. I wish your students the best. And I think together, if we work, we will find success for everybody involved. And hopefully we can return to school in a timely fashion and get back to business as usual. Thank you again for attending Back to School Night 2020. Mr. DeLuca, good night.